Hello, everyone. I am Miss H, as you know. So I'm going to go into today's assignment. Today is Friday. Friday. Okay, so because it's Friday, right? So <laughs> obviously, you're supposed to do your attendance, your um, exit tickets, and jump into my um, Google Classroom. You're sure you know everything is in your classwork. All your assignments are in classwork. So I go into uh, nope, not attendance. I go into my Friday assessment. So I'm going to go over the assessment real quick. Now, if you're in my live class, every Friday, I go ahead and I, uh, oh man, what happened? Oh, right, right, right. Um, I went ahead and I already took the test. Um, just, I always take the test as a, um, just to prepare, um, make sure that I have my, that I take the test too and it makes sense, <laughs> I suppose. So yes, yeah, so I always take it right after and I make sure that it's, it's, uh, it's good. So, that's not to worry. And this H will have to figure it out. Here we go. She figured it out. If we cannot get it right, we figure it out. <laughs> There's always a way. So here I go. Uh, here's my test, right? It's in edit mode, but that's okay. So here I have, how does Butch's past behavior make him an easy target for the real graffiti? So this question we already had answered uh, in yesterday's assignment. The stage directions for Act 3 say that Belinda stands against a wall. How would her? Uh, how would you describe her behavior? Again, we went over these questions yesterday. How would Act 1, why is Act 1 so important? Uh, why is Act 1 so important to the, and then the drama, right? So there are your answers. And then how would you best summarize the drama uh, from the Magic Marker Mystery? So this one, so right now it's showing you like very, very short messages, but remember, um, it is based off of the, um, it's based off in edit mode, so you can't see them, but they're all there. You will be able to see them. What is Mickey implying in paragraph 76? Mickey, you've been looking at the sides of your, insides of your eyelids when the scars are looking, going over. So but here um, I'm saying uh, from paragraph 76, he's kind of poking fun at, at Bucho, right? So Mickey, you must have been looking at the inside of your eyelids when the scars was going over that one. So what is he implying? What is he implying? What is he saying that Pucho was doing? He was right looking at the inside of his eyes. What do you think that means? Okay, so over here I have, why are the stage directions in paragraph 68 important? So I'm looking at stage directions, okay? So paragraph here, oh, that's me. I'm here on there, right? I have it open on the other uh, page. So choose the paragraphs uh, for that, that show the exact moment Mickey realizes Pucho is innocent. Use your book to review the paragraphs. So I have them here, right? Yes, I have them there. Yes, they're going to be tiny. Yes, you're not going to be able to see them, but that's okay. Because the reason for this is I want you to actually get your book and read it. That's why I put paragraph 47 to 51, 38 to 39, 67 to 71, right? So they're not many paragraphs. That's just to show you how much you'd have to read. And you've already read the story before. You read it with me. You should have read it on your own. And we should have been, and we were reviewing it a lot in class. Which definition describes the meaning of culprit as used in the drama, The Magic Marker Mystery? So this one is one of our vocabulary words we had, vocabulary words we had been go going over. And the next one as well. Which definition best describes the meaning of adamant as, as used in the drama, The Magic Marker Mystery? So yes, we already should know those. We went over them in class. Okay, the last one. What is a theme that you can get from the story? Remember, theme is a lesson learned from the story. It is the author's message. Use your question to make your answer. Now, when I tell you, use your question to make your answer, that means I start my question with, well, my answer with what is the theme? Well, I put the theme that I get from the story is, right? That's how we should be answering our questions, right? Because we are sixth graders. We should, we should be able to make awesome and amazing sentences because come seventh grade, we're going to be tested and writing. Okay, so we're going to get awesome, awesome, awesome this year before we even get there. Okay, awesome. So obviously put your name. And that is all for today's uh, uh, Friday, Friday, because we're testing our knowledge and we're being awesome. So I hope this was helpful. If you need anything, please, please reach out and happy learning.